So Jonas Tyrol, which is an amazing YouTuber with great content, I highly recommend you check him out. There will be a link of his channel in the description. He challenged all the indie game dev community to make 50 games in only one day, specifically only 8 hours. But before I show you the last game, I want to call you all out. Can you make 50 games in one day? If you make a video like this, I will link it in the end card of this video. I doubt any of you will be brave enough. So since he uploaded this video, I wanted to make this challenge but I couldn't do it only now because I had to work on my FPS game. You can check the devlogs in the description and as they say, late is better than never. So I jumped ahead and started to smash those games. So for the first hour, I set up some sprites and scripts that I can recycle to make more games. So for the first game, you had to avoid the falling squares, then collect them, dash them, and finally you can destroy them by just clicking. For the next game, I had to make new scripts for the movements, and we have a game based on Flappy Bird concept. So we don't have time, we need to go to the next game. <laughs> so the idea that you have to prevent the squares from colliding or going outside the map. And we already around an hour in. It's about 12 o'clock now. So I started making a new asset that I can uh, extract a lot of games from it and made the necessary script to control them. So you have to avoid the spikes. You have to jump on the spikes. Then I changed it a little bit and now you have to reach the checkpoint I don't know what this is <laughs> and same as game 9 but you have to jump before the ground disappears and finally you have to balance the cube on top of the ground in order to move so it's around 1.20 pm and I did 12 games depending on the math I'm a little bit late so I need to catch up for the next 4 games I wanted to add an enemy or interactable objects so I've made scripts to control that so at this point I started the panic phase. <laughs> I still have almost 5 hours but 34 games to go. For the next 3 games I combined previous mechanics, avoiding the falling assets and shooting at them but different concepts and gameplay. I mean I'm used to spend hours on making games but this time there is a lot of pressure and brain work. You have to be creative and come up with different ideas. Honestly it is so exhausting. So now it's around 3.50 pm, at this point my brain was blank and I felt the lack of ideas. So to regain that, I wanted to switch from 2D to 3D games. So maybe I can remake some of them in different dimensions. Also 3D can give you a lot more options than 2D games. Well, I got inspired by some games that Jonas has made. Since he allowed that, I will use some of his concepts and ideas and maybe make some changes and also I still need to catch up in time. So at this point I'm halfway ahead, I made 25 games from 50, but I still have only 3 hours. I felt tired so I took a small 5 minute break and came back to work. And as I said earlier I'm going to remake some games on 3D dimension. So like game 1, 2 and 4 I guess, and I changed the background to solid color. So now it's around 4.50 pm and at this point I wanted to remake Floppy Bird concept in 3D dimension and give the camera the ability to follow the player which ended up looking good and from that a lot of other ideas has came to my mind based on avoiding the obstacles and controlling the player which actually even gave me more ideas whether on the movement or the level design finally it's now 6 pm that means I only have one hour left and at this point I realized I'm not going to do all the 50 games in time and by the game 41 I looked at the time and it was already 7.5 pm and that means all 8 hours have passed because I started at 11 am and as you can see I made only 41 games out of 50 it was really a hard challenge I want to thank Jonas for this opportunity and making this possible well maybe if I had some pre ideas before doing the challenge I might have done all the games in time because I wasted a lot of time thinking about ideas anyways I think I'm going to sleep for two days now <laughs> that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching <laughs>